Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we're reacting to season eight, episode eight of the Vampire Diaries. This is the eight eight. We have history together. Uh, very important to note too that this is the halfway point of this season. Normally we don't hit the halfway point until episode eleven. It's all very sad. Anyways, uh, if you guys are new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. There's going to be links in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. And uh, I am going to hop right into this one. So uh, Jerry does his best work behind the scenes. Also, I want to point out, too, real quick, that uh, in the last episode, Stefan flipped his switch, turned into the Joker, and now the Salvatore brothers are on the road again. On the road again. Hi. Hi, what's up, buddy? I'm Damon. Yeah, in a little seminar? And I have anger issues. Man, oh shit. Hi, Damon. Why don't you tell us about what brought you to the meeting today? Well, I got my brother this job. Actually, I asked for the job. Yeah, through my connections. It's Who fair. would you say is the worst person in this room? Huh? Meg or Elizabeth? You both have said some pretty awful things. Elizabeth looks like she would intentionally cut her hair into your coffee. Like she would shave bits of their hair into your coffee at a hostess job. I'm sure Seems pretty evil right about Meg. One of them would make an evil choice. Small potatoes. I don't even think they make the cut. Uh, uh, Elizabeth, quiet. Yeah, you Elizabeth. She would definitely run a stop sign and not you? give a shit. What if you had to pick one person to die? Who would it be? Meg or Elizabeth? Wait, stop right there. What if it was between you and Meg? Ooh. Would you want Meg to die? I leave Meg alone. Answer the question honestly. Yes. I would want her to die instead of me. I feel like that's most people's answer. Mm. So that's the guy you're going to choose? Wow. Yeah. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, me too. I would say it's shocking that the one person in the room that they had to kill... Typical Vampire Diary style. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought we were only giving Cade the worst of the worst, like this guy. Cade can have him. These are mine. What are you doing? Meditating? It's called self-control, Damon. No dripping blood equals no temptation. I'm doing it right this time. Heads will remain intact. That's a very fine. Oh, line. Ripper with the conscience. That's a very fine neck membrane. You know, your lack of faith in me is really starting to get on my nerves. I'm just saying you have Ripper history. Are you sure you want to keep testing the blood soaked waters? That's why it's called history. It won't repeat. I'm all good. I don't believe that for a fucking second. Listen, I'm going to say it again before the episode gets going. Damon. Without his emotions is weird. I don't know. It's fishy. It's fishy to me. Uh, Stefan, on the other hand, this is the third time in the show we've seen him without his emotions. In present time, obviously, not counting any of the flashbacks and everything. This is when this is when Paul shines. Is. The emotionless Stefan slash the, the Silas character. Dear Elena, sorry it's been a while. Three weeks to be exact. Good luck, Charlie. By now, Bonnie's probably filled pages and pages about Look at how her. amazing Paris is. And Rick oh, Bonnie's actually in Paris? From his self-imposed witness protection with our kids. Back to high By school, way, huh? I was about to say, she is, I was, um, I was a second, I was a second late. I was going to say, why are you out here dressed like a fucking guidance counselor? And that's why she's back in high school. Dick Falls High School looks exactly Still cute, the same though. as when you last saw it. Only temporary. All of God, she's gorgeous. Let me tell y'all something real quick. On stream the other night, we were talking, and uh, somebody asked me in the chat, and they said, Who, "Who's the most attractive person in the show for you?" And I was like, "Well, I, I, there's a lot of attractive people in the show," and I was like, "I guess if I had to pick somebody, like, if you had to pick a character from the show, this is open to everybody." To marry, all right? It's 
it's got to be Caroline for me. 100%. Lock it in. I think Haley may be the most track. I don't know, man. I think I got to go with Caroline overall. Yeah, they, they asked me, which is the most, <laughs> they said shag, marry, kill. I was like, sure, we'll use the word shag. Uh, easiest decision of my life, right? Shag Haley, marry Caroline, and then murder Lockwood slowly. First episode, murder him slowly, bit by bit. Make him feel pain. But that would be the order. But if I had to marry a character, 100% Caroline. Lock it. You need somebody to plan something for you? Caroline. 100% wife material. Most attractive guy? Granted, I'm 100% team women, but I know when a dude's attractive, okay? I got to say, I was trying to think, and everybody in the chat said Enzo, and I'm like, I give you that. Enzo makes sense, actually. But remember Mason? Like the cool Lockwood? That guy, I'd be friends with. I, I feel like he'd try... He'd make me try to, like, try IPAs and craft beers or something. But, like, I feel like we'd hang out and have a good time. He's attractive. Yeah. Granted, my heart belongs to Ryan Reynolds. Okay? It's as simple as that when it comes to the male side of things. There's only one guy I'll ever fall in love with, and that's Ryan Reynolds. Just open up there a little bit. <laughs> but, no, 100% would marry Caroline. Look at her. Gorgeous. I'll tell you what, if you sneak into Coach Lyman's office and write something really rude in his playbook, drinks are on me tonight at the grill. Yo, remember, uh, I'm sorry, back to back, remember the original, what the fuck was his name? It's like Tad or something. It wasn't Tad. The original coach, it's, it's right there at the tip of my tongue. I know the second I read it, somebody's going to comment and tell me. That original coach that fucking died for no reason. Man. I, I really liked that first season of Stefan giving him shit. That was that was one of my favorite moments of the first season was Stefan correcting him on his history. You two know each other. And I Dorian was talking really fast there for a second. Uh, the circle of trust. Man, see, there's there's small moments. There is stuff, some stuff that has to happen off screen, but there's small moments like that where like I would like to hear Rick briefly even if that give that exposition to dorian like see kind of dorian's reaction to it uh because we never really got rick explaining things to georgie we only saw her witness things that actually happened before she died i like georgie yeah i liked her a lot man you know what wait a second i'm out here talking about marion Caroline, which I still think I would. Jenna? Jenna! I love Jenna to death. I love her to pieces. There's so many people now in my brain. Anna? Hmm, that'd be a good one. Uh, who else? Georgie. I liked her. Those are all good candidates. Lexi, again, would be best friends. Yeah. <sighs> the show. On top of everything she does, she even volunteered to organize Miss Mystic Falls. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Let's go with that woman right there. The old woman spilling stuff everywhere. Oh, the mercy killings? No. <laughs> the doctor helping her. Mercy killings. She's a doctor, not some orderly. Manicured now. So Stefan, or not Stefan, Damon just reached into his pocket to feel that necklace while looking at her. Nails mean she doesn't work with her hands. Medical pager means she's on call. Only in her 20s and already a doctor? Huh. Yeah. Must have graduated early. Really thrown herself into her work. Why do you think that is, Damon? I don't know, Stefan. Maybe she had a brother that bored the crap out of her. Or maybe <laughs> she's driven by something dark. Some sort of pain in her past. I mean, maybe the, the slight resemblance to Elena, maybe but she's driven by something good. Those sound like some betting words to me, Damon. Oh, really? Sounds like some winning words to me. Well, only one way to find out, right? Ah! Uh, 
Take a nap. Oh my god. Is there a doctor here? <laughs> he just fucking pervade him. He just he just fucking pervade him. Uh, Are you eating pudding? Oh my god. It's Christmas? No. Yeah, I was out of town. That's his specialty. Here's another artifact that could help. <laughs> Mr. <Skeleton laughs> Maxwell was a medicine of circa 17. Yo. In his journal, he made sketches of something that he smithied up before he died. Now, that according makes me to St. John, the surviving Maxwells made a family heirloom out of it. Yep, it was that, that, that goddamn Magic familiar. 8 Ball. That's how our family metal work started back in the day. Matt That's is so cool. fed up yeah. with his that pops. Really low bar for cool. He's sick. Look at him. He's pissed. He does not want to see you pop a Donovan while he's popping Maxwell, but still. Well, no diagnosis yet. Here's what you believe. Damon is a drunk driver. Damon is the one who killed your parents. Ooh, let's see how this sways her. Check the deck, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> never said I couldn't take a shortcut. I told you she'd be a challenge. He fucking... Okay. I thought David was asleep this whole time. My man just lay there listening like this motherfucker, bro. <laughs> You're supposed to be on task. Oh, you know shit. Maybe some people can't be corrupted. Maybe she's just plain good. Mm. No one is just plain good. You'll see. I got a question real quick, too. Stefan's over here like, I can do it faster than anybody ever before. Mr. Devil, you give me the opportunity, and I'll slaughter him down left and right. Meanwhile, he's got all this time to sit on his goddamn phone, look up a donor list, and hang out with Damon, who's revained in a hospital bed. You're not moving that swiftly. I just want to put that out there. Hey, what are you doing? Turning up the well, revein, bro. Really. your revein intake. What? No. Oh. I need to create a medical emergency in order for the rest of the game to play out. Can you stop cheating for just This man's early playing fucking Damon. Saul right now. I work for the devil. I don't have to play. It's true. Men and women who were different, misunderstood. Ultimately, they burned to death because of who they were. Are you talking about the hundred witches who were burned at the stake here? 1790. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was the most delicious smell. The smoke lasted for hours. Ew. How could you know that? Who wants to go on a field trip? Me too. Outside. Man, thinking about all the witches that were burned. See, a lot of everything's gonna be a callback to wrap the show up. Talking about all the witches that were burned at stake, blah blah blah. Remember, like, man, the show was so good for like four seasons. And Miss Forbes, you can sit with me. The bridge, some twenty odd years ago. I looked into his mind and I saw the whole thing. Some kind of a parade, a bell hanging on a float. The Founders Day parade. They ring the charter bell every year. It's a replica. The real one went over something called Wickery Bridge in 1992. Anyway, I have spent the last three. All the connections. <laughs> All the connections. Bell, and they haven't found a thing. But I know have it you still exists. See the bell. It can't be destroyed. Right. That's not. You think ours. maybe Elena's parents are holding on to the bell, the bottom of the thing? Annoying. They dig the bodies up? I have no idea. Now, please. Oh shit. Oh, you guys are gonna burn yourselves. Wow. No. Oh. Yup. Dude, you can't be serious. Use the whole can, children. Thoroughness is important. There's old girl. Violet, yeah, Violet, chill out. Violet. No, everybody stop! Oh, she's actually gonna be in bad, I'm huh? Sorry for what I did. I appreciate you saying that. Yeah. But it's just not enough. Dara. No. Dara. I wish I could go back and change it, but I can't. I'm so sorry for what I've done. No, listen to me. Killing me won't change. No, but it'll change your future. Uh, uh, I mean, he's not gonna have a future, so if you kill him, no, don't do it. Dad. 
Are you just about to? Oh. 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 Fuck. Oh, she's actually injecting something. I thought she was injecting oxygen. Just to, like cause a bubble because that would fucking kill you instantly. Uh, man, I watched that one movie. The people up on a, I can't think of the name of it, like up in a snow mountain or something. And like they were trapped and this dude had like frostbite and was dying. And she just took the syringe. She pulled it to get air into it and then injected it into his neck to like cause like a fucking heart attack or whatever. That shit freaks me out. I feel like that was, just, I feel like that was just air, but it looked like she did inject something. I don't even know what she just did. You just signed yourself over to the devil. Figured Stefan would like swoosh in. <laughs> yeah. Matt, when's the last time you saw your dad? I'm with him right now. Yeah. You okay? I just need to get Sybil the antique. What if they made that necklace like super fucking important, like way more important than that, and like Stefan looking at it made him trigger a bunch of shit? Matt, Matt, you there? Yeah, I gotta call you back. No, are them kids there? Hey. Hey. Hey, listen. Oh, listen. shit. Okay, okay, okay. You need to back away, okay? Hey. Hey. She's not gonna listen to you. None of them will. Sybil's controlling him. Help me untie him now. I feel like y'all just fucked up, bro. Okay. I figured she would put something in. I figured as being an evil person, like, she'd put something in her little mind control contract that are like, if anybody tries to untie them, set the bodies ablaze. Not seeing Guess not. Looks like you haven't even bothered to open half these boxes. It's not that you're trying to screw things up. Thanks. It's more submerged. It's more subconscious than that. What are you talking about? Despite your best efforts, your humanity keeps flickering through. Because of this? Because of the necklace. Little reminder. Reminders cause problems. I told you it doesn't mean anything to me. And I don't believe you. What care? Nah. I don't. I feel like... <laughs> they fucking they hired her for this role just for her eye expressions. Oh yeah, is that doing something for you, Stefan? Watching your brother feed on her? Is that making you making you tingle? You're a little weird right now. It's letting you know. It looks like Jesse well, Pinkman's older brother. Well, it doesn't help my existential crisis. All bets are off. True. Sometimes. People bounce back. You want me wounded and hard by doing penance like you? My head in the sand. One rapper at a time. This up in the fire. Beats leaving him on the ground. You understand? Come too far. I will lost my Look at his creepy smile back. She's so pretty. Leave her alone. That angle made him look like a Calvin Klein model. Or like an Abercrombie and Fitch model. Is it still Abercrombie and Fitch or is it just Abercrombie? What a word. Yep. Okay, so at the beginning of the episode when he said it is history, it's not going to repeat itself. Um, 
that that's the clear sign that history was going to repeat itself. I've mentioned this before. I don't know if it was for this show or not, but I feel like they're in the midst of doing a double turn, right? A double turn is a wrestling term where basically you take the good guy, the baby face, and you take the bad guy, the heel, and they swap roles. So the good guy becomes the bad guy, the bad guy becomes the good guy, the baby face becomes the heel, the heel turns baby face. So basically they're just swapping. So the, the whole last season and so far beginning of this season, Damon has been absolutely portrayed as, not the whole last season, sorry. Damon's just been portrayed as the bad guy, right? After going through like season five and getting this redemption and like blah, blah, blah in previous seasons, getting his overarching redemption, putting him right back to where he was, square one. And you have Stefan who is, makes dumb shit mistakes all the time. Uh, having his white knight moment, kind of having them flip of both emotions off. Stefan is drifting into this ruthless ripper, ruthless killer. Granted, emotions are off. I was sitting here thinking that Damon, that when he picked up his necklace, when he picked up Elena's necklace, that that flipped his switch for him. Um, but as Stefan mentions, it's kind of like on the teeter that his switch is just doing this. He has no idea. His brain's just fucking bouncing around. So Damon talking to this inmate, kind of setting him up almost in a sense, like serving penance. You're out here picking up one thing after the other. Um, he sees the inmate on the back and he sees that this guy's trying to do good. Right. It was said uh, a couple earlier episodes back that there is no redemption. Even Damon said it himself, there is no redemption. But now he's seeing the redeeming qualities in people, and I think that silver lining of Elena being there is is kind of is helping him do so. I wish, honestly, that it was him just kind of doing that shit on his own without the necklace, right? That there was no Elena moment to jog that back, and instead of it always being Elena as his anchor and making him this good person, um, that it was just him being this person. Granted, she's not in the show, but that necklace is tied to her. It's just him seeing this shit on his own, which we did kind of get that, I think, in season five when he was with Bonnie and trapped in the world and shit. And then season six, or the end of season five is when they went to the world. Season six being trapped there with her and then coming back. But then he kind of relapses back into Elena's the only reason I'm good, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hurt nobody, yada, yada. I kind of wish it was him discovering it on his own without the necklace, but I'm glad that the necklace is the anchor. I think it would have been cool for Stefan to pick up the necklace and then him have also a little bit of flashbacks, but. He's 100% emotion off. Damon's like teetering. So having the switch of Damon kind of being maybe the level-headed one for a minute, Stefan being 100% off the rails. Um, I feel like the way it can go is if their emotions are off, Caroline can get Stefan's emotions back. Um, I feel like what would be really cool to see is... Stefan being the one to get Damon's emotions back would be nice, or vice versa, Stefan getting Damon's, but that's not how it's going to play out. I feel like having Damon be completely off the rockers and then having uh, Nina make a cameo for one of the final episodes to bring Damon back to get his emotions back or to get Stefan's emotions back, one or the other, I think would be super wholesome. I don't know. Anyways, while Stefan and Damon troll for fresh victims for Cade, Sybil takes a group of students hostage to compel Caroline to locate a powerful artifact. So we're working on finding this fucking bell. Ring a ding, 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 dong. Next episode is entitled The Simple Intimacy of the Near Touch. That's from Miss Mystic Falls. We're going to dance, but super close together. Never touch the intimacy of the near touch. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and head out. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>